The most powerful thing about this community is the classroom next to the actual community. The classroom is where we basically post videos here, but it's kind of set up in a set, like literally we have segments. And so for example, here is my Blender Octane shader guide. If I come in here, you can clearly see I have all of these sub module sets in here. And you can go in, learn about the, the metallic shader here, watch the video. Once you do that, you can just click on it. Once you're finished, just go ahead and click complete. Boom, and that completes it. It lets me know also that you've completed and you've actually watched that video. And you can go through each module on your own pace. And then it's like kind of like, you know, those big courses that you can set up. It's the same situation here. Watch what you want. And then boom, once you're done, it's complete. It'll show up here at the top, 100% complete. So you have no, boom, oh, I've completed that course here. I've got Octane Blender Material Guides. I've got modeling keyboard shader, like different just lessons here to learn Blender Octane. On top of that, I also have stuff from the community here. Alex is a major contributor here in our community. He's posted a whole bunch. He has a YouTube channel that's also about Blender Octane. But what he does is he posts those videos, but he gives us the actual Blender file. So if we come in here, like to, for example, material, he's got this video here where he teaches us how to make a wireframe render. If we wanted to do that, I can come down here and there's a YouTube video. This one's a super easy. He didn't put the file on that one, but his newest stuff, for example, if I come down here, we make this procedural cork and texture it and lighting, everything done procedurally inside of Blender Octane. I can download the Blender file if I wanted to get more in depth. Here's the second portion of that where we make the whiskey bottle. Again, because the cork was the top, here's the whiskey bottle, setting up light, setting up everything. There's the, the Blender file. Absolutely fantastic. And as you complete these modules, you can just tick them off so you know that you've worked on that. I've got over 10 plus hours of material alone just in the school here. Then what I've also done is I've started to, uh, to take all of our materials. Like we make these, we have these bi-weekly challenges. And in these bi-weekly challenges, sometimes like there's a certain material that we make for that challenge. People are sharing that Blender file and we're putting it in this Octane material database. So we're building our own asset library. And every month I congregate all the materials and put them into one Blender file. And that's our Blender asset school material library. So you can basically have access to all of these with the Blender file, throw it in your asset browser in, in Blender, and then boom, you can have it. And you can clearly see here was a leather material that Alex had made. I've got stuff that I've made. It's just everybody in the community, Honey Shader, is constantly throwing their stuff in here and we're putting it all together to try to have this big massive database here. There's like this, uh, this cutting board map material. I threw that video in there. And in the video, you can actually watch it and learn how to do it step by step. If you didn't want to do that, just download the Blender file, import it into your scene, boom, you're ready to go, okay? We've got the classroom, which is extremely powerful. I've got exclusive videos in here, like breaking down Octane Denoiser, Octane Tools, which is basically really good add-ons and plugins that work exclusively for Blender Octane. I've got how to improve your viewport renderings, you know, settings and stuff, how to do that. My Octane to DaVinci Resolve workflow. You can click in here. I'm going to be constantly sharing. I just started this one where what I, my post-processing workflow that I do inside of DaVinci Resolve from exporting out even ACES CG files from Octane, bringing them in DaVinci Resolve, doing a whole ACES workspace and linear work workflow adding and post-processing, blur, lens grunge, and stuff like that all inside of here. This, it's really, really cool stuff, right? So we've got that going on here. I've got some VFX uh, stuff in here too. This one is really long, literally like, this is over 30 minutes of worth of material here. How I basically made this 3D CGI and integrated tracking the whole deal. I'm gonna be doing some more exclusive ones here just in Blender Octane. A lot of these were cycles because this was before I was using Blender Octane but now I'm getting into the Blender Octane for as VFX, so that's gonna be all in here. And then I also do have some of my paid courses and my Gumro that are inside of here, inside this community, so they have access, it, access to it. Now also, we do have our community tab on our community feed, which is kind of like, this is like our Facebook group feed or you know your Facebook feed, but it's everybody who's only in this community. We post stuff here and it shows up here. Again, like here, Ralph is uh, the guy from Silverwing, Absolutely fantastic. He has a very famous YouTube page and he does Cinema 4D to Blender, Cinema 4D to Octane. But recently he's been doing Blender to Octane and his knowledge of Octane is vast. He's been using it for a very, very long time. And it's a privilege to have him inside this group. So he's, he's in here updating us on different things like that. This page alone right here just allows us to, I broke it down in the subcategories. If you look here, we got Blender Octane Help, General Discussion, 
node database. So what you do is you click on this, and I'm taking the nodes that are inside of Octane and I'm like categorizing it and building this big database here. So you can see we got all these nodes here. These are stock nodes that come inside of Blender Octane. So for example, I would click on this one here, the sun surface. This is a node that's actually in Octane, right? Here is the results. If you want to see how to set this results up, here are the nodes that you need to have to actually get that result. So we're everybody's contributing to this. And the thing is, we're labeling them like in DB because within the school platform up here at the top search bar, no matter what you search, you can, if you know the keyword, it'll search the whole platform for it. So for example, if I'm like, hey, there was something about this render farm for Octane. So if I can literally come in here and go render farm, hit enter, it, it's gonna keyword search all of it. Oh, here it is, render farm. This is a render farm from Blender Octane, which I did not know, but yeah, it's called Drop Render. It's exclusively for Blender Octane and it works on Blender. It's absolutely fantastic. So you can literally search that. So again, if we're doing no database stuff, I'm like, I just go in no database, press enter, and now we're gonna be searching in the no database. And I, oh, you know what? Yeah, Polygon side, I, I wanted to have, the, how do I do this? Here it is. We'll have how to have one material on the other side and another material on the flip side. This is the node setup. And then if you don't want that, just download the file, the exact same thing. And here's the setup. So you can play with it and figure out how to do it yourself. This alone, the node database, I've learned so much. And it's like, it's a constant reminder for me because there's like times where I'm doing things and I'm like, man, how did I set that up? How did I, you know, oh, like for example here, how do I get that pattern? I wanted those circles. Here's the setup. I come back in here boom, boom, and just quickly find it and get back to work on it so I don't have to search too much. And the camera, see you guys come back. There we go. So the Node database is powerful. And again, we're also doing that with materials. We're also doing a material database. You can see here, material database, same situation. We're just building up materials. And some of these, again, they haven't made it into yet because I have to go in and, and update them. Look at this, this right here, Blender Octane Foam. Come on, guys, check that out. That's sick, dude, right? We got metal, tempered metal. We got all these different types of materials. Again, here's the material database set up for those. And then, like I guess said, I constantly trying to do a monthly Blender asset file for us. You put it it's all in there. You can dump that into your asset browser and you're good to go, right? Just that alone there is worth the nine bucks. I guarantee that. And as time goes on, the material library is going to grow. And that's another thing. Whenever you sign up, say you sign up now, you get the nine bucks a month. You're grandfathered in at that price forever. So if this is, you know, five years from now and the community is now like, you know, 20 bucks a month to join, you're still at nine bucks a month, but you're reaping the benefits of this massive community, mass, everything growing constantly. You got in at the, the low rate and you're grandfathered in forever on that price. Okay. Unless you quit the group and try to come back. So you want, you want to spend your time and stay. So we've got that. We've got community challenges right now. We're doing a bi bi-weekly community challenge. Everybody throws in there, for example, here, you can see like we took everybody's ideas. Actually, let me just back up to one more post here before that. We took people's ideas. Hey, what do you guys want to do this week? Everybody throws their ideas. I put them on this chart. Then we come in here and everybody votes on what they want to do. If we had some that were tied, we put those together. And for example, here, this was we took the top three. We had ties. These were tilt and these guys are still, they were kind of tied. This was very close here, six to eight right now. So it looks like this week we're going to be doing a product render. Everybody's voting to do product renders. If we go into a tie, we'll just do both. Like if you want to do, you know, product render, or if you want to do typography, you just choose the one that you want to do and then boom. But what's powerful about this, after we do our weekly challenge, everybody shares their Blender file. Everybody shares their stuff so we can all grow and kind of break down and really find out like, what does it take to get these renders? Here's some of our past challenges. We had a one room challenge where we uh, we had to keep the room dimensions of size and everybody can do what they want. This one was the wood challenge. We all started off with the same wood material from our asset library. And you just basically make a render using that render material, that, that one material. You can do whatever you want. And like, come on guys, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous, right? And it's cool. You can download his file, get inside of it, see how he set up the lighting, see what he did for the materials. Just that alone is absolutely powerful, right? So that was our community challenge. Uh, here was the one room community challenge. Check this out. I mean, come on, look at this render guys. Gorgeous. Like I was just walking around in this room like, dude, how did you do that? Like, oh, oh and there's our school logo. Absolutely fine. Fantastic. I just can't, you know, I'm so excited about it. And like, we got people of all levels, right? We've got people from all levels and everybody's learning off of each other. So we've got people who are beginners. We've got people who have been in this 
in Blender Octane for a long time and they're in the game and they know what's up here. Here again was that, that same one room challenge. Check this out. It's good to see everybody's ideas. Look, the, come on. Look at that. That's absolutely all the materials that from the asset library. He throws them in there like a gallery, right? Absolutely cool. So that's it for our community challenge. On top of the, having the access to the community challenges, the classroom, the community, we also do, I also do some live stuff in here. So you can clearly see here last month, I, I, I come in here, I try to get in as much as possible and do some live streams with the group. I jump on one-on-one -on -one calls with people if they're, we're struggling, we'll try to figure out a problem together. I'm always in here and you know, whatever we wanna do, we just do it. I'll schedule a live stream. If everybody can participate, we'll jump on a call and we'll just hang out, right? And now, right now I'm trying to get in here to do daily streams where I'm literally doing like coffee and blender, like, you know, in the morning, 30 minutes for me. But me being in Japan and everybody else in different time zones, it's kind of hard, but that's why I try to do multiple times a day, different times, different times, you know, so maybe somebody else can get in, but we have that. Then on top of that, there's more. We have our like gamification of the community, right? So the more you do the engaged in the community, the more points you get. You can clearly see we have this leaderboard here. Here's our top contributors in the community. The way you get a point is if you make a post and somebody likes it, you get a point. If somebody comments on it, you get a point. Straight up and straight up simple. So you can see how much people are engaging with that. And these are the top people who are like getting constantly engaged with. And it's just really cool, like of a gamification just to see like, wow, okay, you know, well, these are the people who are like some of the top dogs, the top 10 in this community here. We got to break it down by seven days, 30 days, and then all time leaders. And then on top of that, these points release certain perks within the community. So when you first join, you don't have access to our material library. You get to a level two, then you get that. And the reason why we do that, we don't want people just joining just to grab our asset library and then leaving the group right? That's not fair. So what we do is you got to kind of spend a little bit of time in here, get your points up to level two at least, and then you can participate in that. You'll get access to that. And the more you participate and the higher your rank gets up, the more stuff you get. Like the one-on-one -on -one calls won't be available to you right off the back. Maybe you have to get to like a level three. We haven't decided exactly on the level yet. It's probably going to be about a level three. At least got to be in here for a couple of months. And then you can get access to one-on-one, -on -one, you know, live stream with, with me. But you can still participate in the in the groups, the join the the group join streams. That's fine. But one-on-one -on -one calls might be more a little bit more exclusive for people who put their time into the group here. So this is a, literally our point system. You can see all the way up to level four. I start to give away my free stuff, my paid stuff. I mean, I have some paid via cor effect courses. You'll get those for free once you get to level four. And there's going to be another one I'm going to be adding here in a couple of days. That's going to be at level five. You'll get access to that. That's our gamification of the group just, you know, to keep people, you know, motivated and on it. So it's very powerful. Again, you can quit anytime that you, you want. It's no big deal. I don't know if you want to quit because we're constantly adding stuff in here. I'm constantly adding classes. And uh, our new, well, here's our, like our another newest tab that we just started. We got this community file database where we're all just posting files and things for us to like patterns things just little stuff to help us out with you know our workflow that we all kind of work over and like we got assets we share them with each other here useful you know links things like that again i've uploaded this file that has every single node inside blender octane shader i have this file where you can literally jump in this download this file and you can see every single node that's in here and then somebody in the group also made it available on a PDF. So we have a PDF file that you can actually download if you didn't want to do that. Our link database, which we just started, useful links for Blender Octane and just for Blender in general that we post here. So you come in here and you can find out useful links, websites and stuff like that. Uh, we got a lighting database, which we just kind of started too. So lighting setups, and we're putting that all inside of here. And it's just, you know, it's a fantastic little community. Blender Octane, nine bucks a month. I mean, right now at the at the time of this video, nine bucks a month. I've paid nine bucks a month for people's Patreons and they've like literally will post once a month and it's just a video. Like I don't get any type of interacting with other people or groups and stuff like that. Like this is like, you're getting like a Facebook group. You're getting like a gum row. You're getting like a Patreon and you're getting access to all these files. It's not that hard to, to cancel your subscription. So if you feel like you, this is not for you, I'm going to quickly literally show you. When you go in, you go to your about your page here, click on your settings, 
and then you may not have the about page, but click on your settings. You'll go to subscriptions and here's your subscription. It looks different for you than me because I'm an admin of this page, but literally you'll come on your subscription. And you'll just hit cancel subscription. That's it. Like it's not a big deal, right? So if there's something that you just weren't vibing with, or it wasn't, you don't feel like this is it for you. You don't have to report into me or you don't have to do all this to cancel. It's extremely easy. So I don't want you to feel any pressure, right? I will probably ask you though, why'd you quit? Just so I can know, like, is it something that I did or is it something that you didn't like in the community? So I can constantly be improving the community for other people who do join. Okay. So that's about the only thing I will ask.